Hello, today I'm going to be doing the 10 most influential books tag. This tag was created by uh, Susie from Read Susie Read and I was tagged in total three times amazingly. This, uh, the first time was from Rachel, from Rachel Writes. The second time was from Page by Page by Page and that was less than six hours difference between them. And then only about a day and a half ago, so almost a week after them, I was tagged by Silver Bookworm. And this tag is relatively straightforward. You just show 10 books that have had a significant and influential effect on you. Now you're not meant to talk about them, you're meant to show them and then put them aside. I don't like that though, so I'm going to just do a very brief, I think like one, I think like a one sentence description as to why I'm picking them though, because I just don't think it works well without it. And I've put the books roughly in order that they've actually had an effect on me over the years. So without further ado, let's begin. The first book is unsurprisingly Teapot of Chip and it's The Colour of Magic. This is the first book I ever read, AJ, this specific copy as well. So it's important. The second book that I'm going to choose is Good Omens by T. Patchy and Neil Gaiman. Uh, I love this book, still do, always have. This book was showed me that there are other authors other than T. Patchy. For a long time after I learned to read, I read nothing but T. Patchy. So he's actually got me finally into reading non T. Patchy, basically. The next book should interest Chris from The Reading Road. This is Stephen King, The Blackman Books. Originally he wrote under the pseudonym of Richard Backman and this is actually a combination of four of them Rage, The Long Walk, uh, Roadwork and The Running Man Brilliant book, absolutely love this The next book is by Tom Holt and it is In Your Dreams This is a fantasy comedy book First sort of proper comedy book I ever had and it's a really, really good book. The next book I've also mentioned, and that would be Owen Colfat, Artemis Fowl. I love this book. Series has ended, but I will. The next book is Peter F. Hamilton and The Dreaming Void. And this book, I love this book, of course. And it is a cross between fantasy and full-on sci-fi science fiction. And it's actually kind of what helped get me back into science fiction again after I haven't read it in a long time. The next book is Raymond D. Feist and Magician. Again, I love this book. It is classic fantasy. I read it around the same time as the Void Trilogy and it's just generally amazing. The next book I got from the library a long time ago, but I do now have it on my Kindle. So I can actually show you a direct copy of it. And that would be The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. It's an interesting book, obviously. It's obviously non-fiction, of course. And I do like reading these little books. I find it really interesting. The next book is Lee Child and the first Jack Reacher book ever, which is Killing Floor. This book has some phenomenal, really memorable scenes in it. And it's what got me into the sort of action, um, sort of conspiracy thriller type genre. And finally, China Myville and Perdido Street Station. I've done a review of this and the other two books. And it is the first ever book I read which is actually classified as steampunk. Amazing book. So, I hope you found this interesting. It's certainly an interesting one to do, trying to think of the most significant books isn't easy. Now I'm not sure who I'm going to tag as this has been spreading like wildfire especially as you have to tag 10 people so if I do tag anybody it will be in the box below. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you another day.